I'm Dr. Gemma Geegan. I'm a Rutherford Discovery Fellow and a Senior Lecturer at the University of Otago and I have a position at ESR. My research broadly aims to better understand how viruses first jump to a new host and then emerge and spread in population through space and time. Through collaboration with my colleagues at ESR as well as scientists throughout the country, we started out sequencing genomes of COVID-19 positive samples right at the start of this pandemic. We were using this to better understand how cases are related, how they are linked and, and link cases to the border um, and to track and trace how this virus is spreading through New Zealand and evolving through time. This helped decision makers you know, make decisions about you know, lockdowns as well as our um, research on in-flight transmission and inter-MIQ transmission was really world leading. Sequencing a genome is basically reading the instruction manual of that living organism. And all living organisms have a genome. They're made up of letters that basically provide instructions about what that organism will do. And so viruses have quite small genomes. The coronavirus genome is 30,000 letters in length. And that's very small compared to, for example, our genome. What we do is basically read that genome and read those letters. And then we can compare those letters to the other letters in another virus and, and see how they compare and contrast. I think the most important job that you have as a scientist is to communicate your scientific findings. And usually for most of us, that's just through academic peer review publications. But when your work happens to be in an area of public health and general um, public importance, that I think that um, you have a duty to expand outside of academia and effectively communicate your science to the general public. And I never really thought that you know, virus evolution would be so important as it is today, but here we are. <laughs>